With XR3, one CNC has developed a new approach to allow users to save the settings they use for each tool and toolpath type for later use by creating templates. This eliminates the need to continually fill in each individual value in the toolpath wizards. Each template contains all of the tool information, feed rates, spindle speeds, clearance settings, depth of cut, and step over settings. Each individual toolpath has its own individual templates, so the software can learn how you program in every situation. This will greatly reduce your programming time, and it will minimize errors, as once the settings are saved, they can be locked so no accidental changes may occur. In 1CNC XR3, the selection process for 2D geometry has been drastically simplified. Upon clicking the wireframe entity, you will be automatically presented with four arrows. The arrows will allow you to quickly select whether you want to cut inside the boundary or outside the boundary, and whether you wish to climb cut or conventional cut the part. Rest machining is now available in 1CNC XR3. Rest machining is designed to remove material left over from a previous operation. A larger tool may not be able to fit everywhere on your part, and rest machining allows you to remachine with a smaller tool while being aware of where the previous tool is cut, allowing for the best possible finish with no time wasted cutting air. One CNC pencil milling is a new function used to finish corners which otherwise may have cusp marks left from a previous machining operation. This is ideal for machining corners where the surface radius is the same as the cutter radius. Single pass pencil milling gives a high surface finish, ready for polishing. The open pocket and open Z level strategies create a roughing toolpath using the outer boundary as the open wall of the stock. This allows the cutter to start outside of the boundary and work towards the center of the part. The generated toolpath ensures that the cutting conditions remain constant with a stable load on the tool, allowing the feed rate to be increased significantly, often reducing machining time by 40% or more in addition to improved surface quality and reduced tool wear. All of 1CNC's toolpaths are now completely associative, meaning that any toolpath can be updated to reflect any changes made to the model or wireframe. Right-clicking on an operation allows you to choose the Repick Path option, which will then prompt you to choose the geometry you wish to machine again, allowing for on-the-fly updates to last-minute design changes. In 1CNT XR3, the NC Manager displays all of the information about the toolpath, such as tool type, clearances, offsets, feed rates, spindle speeds, and step over, as always. But now it presents it in an easily editable format, allowing you to make simple changes to the toolpath variables without having to re-edit each dialog in the wizard again. One of the new functions that sets 1CNC XR3 apart is the ability to select traditional or new high-speed toolpaths in both 2D and 3D operations, using the same wizard-driven approach as always. This enables a simple edit to compare traditional and high-speed toolpaths to ensure the best possible timing and approach. All high-speed toolpath movements are made without sharp corners and approaches and exits with 3D arc movements. Higher feed rates are used for non-cutting motions, which will appear in the back plot, colored blue.
The facing operation has been changed in XR3 to allow for both spiral and single directional style cuts. The new path styles appear in the facing wizard, allowing you to perform a planar style face operation, cutting in either one or both directions.